Hey, what's going on? Glad to see you guys here once again. So what are we doing here today? Well, today we're going to be checking out a four gigabyte version of the GTX 960 from the people over at Gigabyte. This is their WinForce edition. And does four gigabytes actually really mean shit at 1080? Let's see. So let's first start off with taking a look at the car. Now, right off the bat, you guys can see there are three fans predominantly on the top, all with the Gigabyte logo on top. Underneath that, you can clearly see the aluminum heat fins, and there are four heat pipes also to keep the card running cool. Down below that, you guys can see the PCI interface, and once again, you can see more of that aluminum heat fins on the side. I'll spin the card around to the back. You can clearly see the four copper heat pipes emanating from the back of the card. Looking pretty cool. Now, as we take a look at the top of the card, you guys can see more of the heat fins. You can also see the six pin and the eight pin power connectors, as well as more of those aluminum heat fins. Now, where the WinForce logo is, this lights up all the time. But on the side, you can see there are two little lights. Now, these light up when the card's in silent mode, and then they go off when the card's fan's running. So if your system's running nice and cool, the card will go on silent mode. The fans won't be spinning at all. It'll be completely silent, and it'll say silent. And as soon as your card heats up enough to run those fans, those lights will go off, and your fans will start spinning once again. As we flip around the back of the card, you guys can see, once again, see the G1 Gaming logo. By the way, this is the G1 Gaming 4GD edition of the card. The total nomenclature is the NV N960 G1 Gaming 4GD. That's its full-on nomenclature. And you guys can see right here in the back, it has that G1 Gaming and the little tiny Egyptian eye. Also, you guys totally are in love with these back panels. I don't blame you. I'm in love with them, too. They offer total <laughs> solid protection for your card. Also, we can see up there in the right-hand corner, the single SLI connector. This card can do two cards in SLI mode. Another really cool aspect about this card is actually the rear I.O. Now, many people have contacted me lots of times and they're trying to hook up multi-monitors going, hey man, do I have to have a powered adapter? What's going on? I can't get it to work. Well, with this card and the option that they have on the rear I.O., they have quite a bit as well as you guys can see. You guys can hook up four different display types with different connections and they'll all work. You don't have to buy any type of adapters or anything else. And that's really cool. Now, as far as the outline of the rear I.O., it goes like this. You have a dual link DVI, DVI-D, HDMI, and three display ports. This card has a base clock speed of 1266 megahertz and its boost clock is at 1329 megahertz. Now, this is just out of the box. Experimentation and where you live, you might get better or worse results. It just depends on actually where you live and how cool your system is. The maximum resolution of the card is 4K, it's 4096 by 2160. And like I said, this card should do very well for those people wanting to use multi-monitors. Now, as far as the gaming goes on multi-monitors, that four gigabytes should come a little bit into play. Now, having four gigabytes of extra memory should actually translate into better graphics at higher resolutions. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later, but we found this card at 2560 by 1440, even with those four gigabytes, it really wasn't doing too much. This card's geared for 1080p, that's where it shines. With that said, let's jump in right now. Let's first take a look at our test station, then rock out to the benchmark songs and see how this card does against the competition. Let's rock. So there you have it, man. The Gigabyte G1 4 Gigabyte version of the GTX 960. Now, as far as the card goes, this card is very well made. The three fans on top, all of its cooling stuff, all of the back plate, all this stuff makes this card really nice, including all that ability to hook up multiple monitors. So this card has a lot of positive features to it. 
Now, as far as just out of the box testing goes, well, you guys can see that there were a few other cards that actually tested a little higher, and that's due to those cards being way more overclocked. But you can use the Gauntlet software, and I'm sure you can overclock this card just as well. It was like 39 at sitting still and 66 under full load, so you know this card has plenty of room to do more overclocking. I'm sure the card can probably get up to like probably 90 Celsius and still run just fine. So the headroom on it's very, very large. So don't really, you know, look at those numbers and just go, oh wow, you know, this card sucks, it got slower, because you can always overclock it to those same numbers. They're just doing it out of the box. But with that said, though, I think this card offers a lot of features. If it wasn't $49 more, I would actually give it an error's choice and say, woo, awesome, awesome, awesome. But I know people out there are tight on money, and that $49 just might be the squeeze above $200 that people go, oh, I don't want it. And plus, like I said, this card's geared for 1080p. It's not geared for 2560 by 1440, so it's no real surprise that this card is not totally kicking ass in those resolutions. Hence why we left them out of this review. We tested them, we were like... Ooh, uh, okay, uh, yeah, that's uh, not doing good there. So, four gigabytes of memory might be good for multi-monitors. You might be able to turn some stuff up and get a lot, but I don't know. That extra VRAM, to me, just isn't making this card the sweet spot for most people. At 1080p, I feel you can get a two gigabyte card, overclock the shit out of it, put two of them in SLI mode if you want, and get even more substantial power, and you're still going to save money. So if you bought two of these cards, you'd actually have almost enough money saved, you know, to buy the extra card. So I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech Tomorrow. Peace out. I love you folks. Thanks for watching the channel. Um, I don't know if you guys are subbed. If you're not, hey, I wouldn't mind if you were subbed because then you see me in your inbox every day and I hope you guys like this video. Peace out.